it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. Whew. It's been a whirlwind today already. I got up really early, about 5.30. I wasn't resting good. Then I worked for a little while and I went back to sleep. And I slept until 9 o'clock. And then I realized that I don't feel good. It must be a fibromyalgia day. And as soon as Chris got up, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel terrible. And he goes, there's a front coming in. And that's why I feel so bad. And I really do feel bad. So, I didn't get to do Bible study. He and I are headed to Yuli, even when I'm not feeling good, because the ladies are coming to clean the house today. And we'll be in the car most of the day, riding. And I'm hoping I start feeling a little better once I eat, because I didn't hardly eat anything yesterday. I ate a corn dog for lunch. And then Chris um, wanted to get Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I didn't really want it. I wound up eating an avocado for supper. So, I had some cereal this morning. I'm hoping that once I get a little food in me, I'll get a little more energy. But anyway, we are headed to Yuli for him to get some fish and stuff. He needs a few things. And um, I just wanted to say good morning and tell you, sorry I missed Bible study this morning. Uh, but we had to get up and get the house straightened up and get out of the house this morning so that they could clean. And um, I got this new thing that holds the camera in the car that attaches to the rearview mirror. And I got it at Ollie's the other day when I was in Ollie's. It is the coolest thing. I'm going to show y'all why it's so cool. Wait. So, what's cool about it is it mounts right underneath the mirror. Now, Chris is driving. I am not, if you're wondering. Um, and the cool thing about that is you can see it's just like you're in the car with us and you can kind of see what we see from the front seat and I find that very cool um, if it was snowing or something really pretty then it really would be cool but right now you can just kind of see the road and us there's my man hey man good looking tell them what you're gonna make uh, by today Chris I need a fishing net because I lost a big fish yesterday because I didn't have a net. That's awful, ain't it? And I dropped my air bubbler thing for the bait in the river. In the river? How did you drop it in the river? I was pouring the rest of my... Shrimp out? Bait out, and it came off the hose and fell in. So do you normally take it off of the bucket before you pour it out? No, because the one that originally went with the bucket didn't work. Because you know half the stuff you buy now does literally doesn't work. When I buy this thing, I might buy two. Because if I buy two of them, one of them might work. So it doesn't attach to the bucket like it's supposed to because it's not the one that came with the bucket because the one that came with the bucket didn't work. So are you going to be able to get the right kind today? No, not for that bucket. So can we go to Bass Pro and you get the right kind? Yeah, but those work less than the ones that like you just that lost. I just lost. They're not real expensive. I mean, they're a little bit. Look, he, he spends a lot of money on bait. All right, I got to tell y'all about this, what I got on today. I buttoned this all the way up to my neck like a ding dong. I just feel so weird today, y'all. Oh, and by the way, when I went to the dentist, I haven't told y'all because I have so many ailments already. You ever feel like that? There's always something new. Well, I've been having this sensation right here next to my nose, and it's been really bad, and it comes and goes, but lately it's been more there than not, and it's a nerve. I mean, you can feel it, and it's a nerve, and when you touch it, it shoots kind of down into my gum. Not like, it doesn't really feel like a tooth, but it shoots down into my gum and up my nose. And so when I went to the dentist yesterday, I got the dreaded news that it's probably not this tooth's root because it's already dead. <clears throat> it's been dead since high school. <coughs> I had a root canal on it in high school. The tooth next to it, he thinks it's the root going bad. That means I gotta have a root canal more than likely and they're going to refer me to an endodontist. Surgeon surgeon okay I gotta tell y'all about my foundation 
Y'all pray I have a good day today. I'm hoping I start feeling better because I like it when I get out with Chris to feel good. Um, <clears throat> I didn't put on any real foundation today. Um, I bought this stuff and I haven't shown it to y'all yet. And it's by Wet n Wild and it's really cheap. I'm very hoarse this morning. <coughs> Sorry about that, but I just am. Um, anyway, it's really cheap. It's by Wet n Wild. And it's called... It's a face primer. Okay? It has a sheen to it. And it's very barely just tinted. I mean just barely tinted because you know how pale I am and it doesn't make my face look dark at all but look how it makes my face shine now I don't have on anything else in foundation or powder I didn't wear any concealer today you can probably tell or any eyeshadow my concealer I really need it here and here since chemo 10 years ago it really messed up the bottom of my eyes but anyway um, look how pretty it looks it makes you look like you're kind of sun-kissed and I think it makes you look younger I do I think that if you're my age or older and you want a fresh look without wearing foundation get you some of that wet and wild primer and um, rub it on your face it, it, it goes on it's smooth real smooth going on it don't take a whole lot of it and it makes you look how pretty my cheeks look it makes me seriously look like i've been in the sun almost what do you think chris chris never tells me i'm pretty he never does but can you tell a difference have you been able to notice i've been wearing this chris yeah i'm serious you can't tell that my face is shiny and young looking stare at you right now. He can't stare at me right police now because we're right going here. down the road. There's a police car. On the interstate. Oh well. I just thought I might get a year beautiful out of it. Maybe I will by the end of the day. You know the preacher told him two Sundays ago. Was it last Sunday or Sunday before last? Last Sunday. Last Sunday to tell his wife she's beautiful and I've been waiting for two weeks to, for him to tell me and he still hasn't told did y'all hear him? Tell him what you said. <laughs> you think that's funny? I really have been waiting. <laughs> You're beautiful. Tell them they're it, beautiful. They, y'all are beautiful. Everybody's beautiful. Not everybody, but most people. Thank you. Thank All you. women. Yes, we're beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful because we love you. Oh, anyway. So we're headed to Yulee, Florida, correct? No. Nope. Where are we're we headed to? Amelia Island. Amelia Island. We should go see the sea turtles. There might be sea turtles at Amelia Island. I thought they had that sea no, turtle that's thing. on Jekyll Island. Oh, that's Jekyll Island. I have still yet to see the sea turtle exhibit in Jekyll Island. Have you been there? If you have, tell me if it's worth going into because I've not been. But anyway, um, so we're headed to Florida. We're just, we live right next to Florida. Yeah, it's not much of a trip. It's not much of a trip. I wanted to go to a Sam's Club just to see their pretty Christmas stuff. And um, he says there's not one down here. So anyway, I told Chris today, I have no idea if y'all are getting a good view or not. I don't know what the quality is. We're on the road. But I told Chris today, that I wanted to just start pulling out all the Christmas decorations and get the kitchen decorated for Christmas. And um, Linda says that you have a sense of humor like her brother and that she loves you. You know what? You have to really, some people, if you have a dry personality or dry sense of humor, my boss had that. I had this. I had a boss that was so much like Chris for years before I met Chris, and he was the kind of guy. And Chris is the same way that you couldn't tell if he was kidding or not. Um, sometimes you would think he was in a bad mood or upset about something, and he was joking. 
I mean, it was just the strangest thing. And it took me years to be able to figure out um, how, you know, who he was and that he was okay and that he wasn't mad all the time. So when me and Chris met, I was odd or he'd been conditioned for his personality type through my boss. But I, he still hurt my feelings, didn't you, Chris? Yes. Easy. And y'all, I don't even get my feelings hurt that easy compared to some women. I don't know what he would have done. If Chris had met a real dramatic woman, he would have been in trouble. Because, but it wasn't too long and I figured out um, what was going on with him and that he really wasn't upset or most of the time he was joking. And they just think, they just think certain things are funny and even mean things like him and his sister. If they get together, aren't you and Lisa something else, Chris? Oh, yeah. If they get together and they start talking, they joke around, and it's just, it, in, in a way it's almost hateful. But, but when I'm mean, but it's when I'm funny mad to them. Mean, I'm really mad at me. I've never I mean, seen him really, really mean, but bad. maybe I think you threw something out the window one time that was one of the kids' toys when we were in the car. Like they made you mad about something. I always wanted to. I think you did one time. You may have. Um, no, I I'm think sure you did that one time. Toy, but he's never are. yelled at me or called me names. or. But he says that he's the kind of person, if he gets mad, it's really bad. So he usually stops himself and he tells me, Tammy, you're making me angry. And when he says that, then I know that I need to shut up. And so I just lay off of him. Um, he had to teach me that because I was raised in a house where people went at each other terribly. <laughs> I mean, we just said anything we wanted to say, however we wanted to say it. But when I met Chris, I had to figure out that I couldn't do that with him. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to the island. Somebody says they like going to Amelia Island. I'm sorry, this thing jerks, but it does. We're going over some, um, what do you call them? Bridges and stuff. Yeah. Hey y'all, down here, I want you to look if you're if you don't live down here. The roads are flat and straight. Just like that. Not but we do have trees. Rhonda Butler says they don't have trees, so she kept getting lost. Yeah, the broadcast was interrupted. I bet we're going in a bad spot. Yeah, there ain't nothing through here. There ain't nothing through here. All right. We'll just go, because we're out in the middle of nowhere, Timbuktu. We'll see y'all later. Bye.